I think they've lost me. Ah. Hello, my name is Commander Ben, and I lead the fight against invasive plants. I stole these documents from their laboratory Cimadel, where I battled them back and escaped barely alive. But I bring you these documents, and I will bring you the truth about invasives, what they, it, tried to hide. Invasive plants are not native to this ecosystem, usually brought here by people on purpose or by accident. Invasive plants cost millions of e in ecological and economic damage. Oh, these creatures, they're coming for you. You might not know your enemies, but I do. English ivy, it's an invasive creeping vine that will cover trees and encase them in its dark shadow. Glossy pervet is a plant that will creep along fences and casing them in its wrath. Heavenly bamboo is a plant that will grow up in urban areas, attracting cockroaches like crazy. The common dandelion, which I'm sure you have fought day to day to try to keep your lawns clean. Johnson grass, which will grow up in croplands, destroying crops and pushing them out and encasing them in its own wrath. And their dark titan leader, the master of them all, Arundodonax also known as the Giant Reed. Back off! The Giant Reed, also known as Orundodonax, is a perennial grass that can grow up to 20 feet high. It has flower plumes in August and September, which can grow up to two feet high. And another thing that you must remember, it loves to grow in moist soil, especially along stream banks. See. As you see, pretty stream. Horrible neighbor! Ugh. It was brought here in the early 1800s for erosion control as, and as an ornamental. People thought it would be a nice, pretty little grass. Oh, but they were so, so wrong. Don't you, when you think ornamental, you think, oh, pretty. Oh, but that's what the giant wants you to think. Oh, but this plant is not. It is a dark plant. And it must be destroyed. And I'm going to tell you why. The giant reed can dry out and become a great fire hazard. It can float down stream bags and create huge infestations. It reproduces extremely easily. It has tough creeping root masses that can overtake displace native vegetation. It grows in moist soils along stream banks and destroys everything in its path. This dark plant must be stopped. We must work together to destroy it. There were many methods that were tried before to take down the giant reed, but now we know how to truly defeat them. Excavation applying herbicides, cutting the plants back, mowing them down at controlled burns. Now let me warn you, there are some things that do not work. Letting boys with foam dart guns run through does not work. Talking sweetly to the plants, I do not recommend. Or hugging them, just don't do it. Oh, God bless my father. There's a nice giant reed. Ah, ow! Ow! Yes, yes, that would make sense. We must cut back the plants and apply glycophate herbicides. But make sure you have one that's safer around aquatic life. We don't want to hurt other aquatic life trying to take down this evil plant. What's that? It's got me. But now you know the truth! Save yourselves! Breaking news! UT researchers recently discovered a wasp that will sting the giant reeds, causing a gall. This takes away the giant reeds' competitive advantage. It won't sting you, it won't sting me, it won't sting little Bobby over there. Stop eating it, Bobby! And it won't sting native plants. And one more thing, let's get down to business.